Uh, hello everyone.、Uh, I'm Masaki Shibadari at Hokkaido University of Japan.、Uh, I will talk about the、uh, GCMX, our GCMX, exper-、uh, our result of GCM experiments on the random greenhouse day.、Uh, the uh, appearance of the、uh, random greenhouse state is one of the、uh, important conditions which determine inner edge of habitable zone. And when、uh, the random greenhouse state emerges, Uh, atmospheric temperature keeps to increase and the climate uh, changes uh, drastically. So the, uh, uh, it can be considered that、uh, it, can, it can be considered、uh, to be a critical point in the climate regime. Uh, so uh, I, uh, in my talk, uh, uh, m- main topic of,、uh, in my talk is the random greenhouse state. Sorry, now, how can I use the point? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and、uh, I think、uh, all of you know the random greenhouse state uh, as uh, explained in the、uh, first talk、uh, in morning、uh, by Dr. Abbott. But、uh, let me reconfirm the definition of the random greenhouse state. The random greenhouse state is defined by a、uh, vertical one dimension model.、Uh, this figure shows the result of a、uh, one dimension model, and uh, uh, this shows the、uh, relationship of surface temperature and、uh, infrared radiation emitted from、uh, moist atmospheres.、Uh, this result was obtained by a、uh, vertical one dimensional、uh, radiative convective, convective equilibrium model. Uh, for uh, gray, gray atmosphere. The red line shows the result for cases, a case with a surface temperature of one bar. And、uh, there exists the upper limit of infrared radiation. Uh, this uh, upper limit is called as the radiation limit. When、uh, insulation exceeds、uh, this radiation limit, The atmosphere cannot reach equilibrium, and, uh, and uh, this is the emergence of random greenhouse state. And、uh, the aim of this study is、uh, examination of、uh, appearance condition uh, of random gr-、uh, greenhouse state for various configurations. We consider、uh, aqua planets and land planets. Aqua planet is a limit case of、uh, much water, and、uh, land planet is a limit case of、uh, small water. And、uh, we performed GCM experiment、uh, with changing solar flux distribution, planetary rotation rate, and the existence of cloud. So、uh, I will show the、uh, result of aqua planet experiment. The aims of、uh, aqua plant experiment is the examination of、uh, runaway condition. In recent years,、uh, many GCM experiments have been performed, and、uh, it is shown that、uh, threshold values of solar constant changes、uh, according to model configuration.、Uh, for synchronous rotating planet,、uh, tidally locked planet,、uh, Threshold value becomes、uh, much bigger than、uh, non synchronous case. And it,、uh, it is also discussed that、uh, many factors are important for determining the threshold values. And for synchronous rotating planet,、uh, effect of cloud is important. And、uh, non synchronous Earth like case,、uh, atmospheric circulation is important. But uh, I think uh, that, uh, but uh, uh, we are, I focus on the、uh, random condition、uh, itself in this talk.、Uh, I think that random condition is common、uh, regardless of model configuration. That is, uh, uh, infrared radiation uh, uh, ins- uh, insulation exceeds、uh, radiation limits. So,、uh, random greenhouse emerges. And、uh, 
Uh, this is a, a result of my previous study. And uh, in, uh, even in three-dimensional systems, uh, atmospheric, uh, atmospheric infrared radiation uh, reaches uh, radiation limit determined by uh, 1D model. And uh, this figure shows good correspondence with uh, 3D GCM result and uh, 1D result. If the uh, solar constant is increased, uh, infrared radiation increases and reaches, at up, reaches upper values of uh, infrared flux, and uh, then a uh, random green house state emerges. So uh, I believe that uh, this good correspondence uh, works also in other configuration. To uh, confirm this idea, I uh, performed uh, many uh, experiments for various configurations. We use, uh, we use our own model, which have been developing for aiming uh, various experiments, including uh, solar system planet and exoplanets. Physical processes such as radiation, uh, chemical convection, and, and uh, turbulent mixing are represented by uh, parameterization schemes for Earth's atmosphere. We use a simple cloud model, and the amount of cloud water is uh, calculated uh, with assuming a constant extinction time of cloud water. Uh, this is a setup of aquaplanet experiment. And we use uh, two kinds of solar flux distribution. One is a synchronous, synchronously rotating plant configuration, and the other is an Earth-like configuration. And we changed solar constant and planetary rotation rate. Uh, this is uh, uh, some of uh, result of uh, synchronous rotating case. And this animation shows uh, surface temperature, color, and uh, surface wind uh, arrows, and uh, precipitation distribution uh, with a uh, white contour. At, at this yellow point, uh, yellow dot uh, represents substellar point. And uh, the patterns changes with uh, planetary rotation rate, but uh, intensity or values of surface temperature uh, is determined by solar constant. And uh, these uh, night side are warmed uh, by the uh, atmospheric uh, heat transport. So the uh, uh, plan uh, whole planet uh, can be uh, can be uh, can reach at equilibrium states. This is a summary of uh, our aquaplanet experiment. Uh, these two figures show threshold values of uh, for uh, threshold values for appearance of the random greenhouse state. Left panel shows the threshold values of uh, incident flux, and cross mark represent the random greenhouse state. And the other mark uh, represent uh, equilibrium state. And all results are plotted, uh, including uh, synchronous case or, and non-synchronous case and uh, cloudy case and no cloud case. And the, uh, the threshold values changes uh, according to the model configuration and uh, planetary rotation rate. For uh, cloudy synchronously rotating planet, threshold values changes as this. Uh, so, random thresholds uh, differs according to the uh, model configuration. But if we plot uh, infrared radiation, uh, we, uh, the threshold values become more clear, like uh, these uh, dotted lines. Uh, these two dotted lines uh, indicate the uh, boundary of uh, runaway state and equilibrium state. And uh, the threshold values of infrared radiation is almost constant uh, to the uh, planetary rotation rate. And this, uh, this value is also uh, 
about uh, 300 watt per square meters. And uh, this value corresponds to the upper limit of infrared radiation. Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, <laughs> the time is very short. So, the, uh, 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 this is a horizontal distribution of infrared radiation and, uh, uh, solid line indicate equilibrium state and solid line indicate runaway state. And with increased, uh, solar constant, the, uh, infrared radiation reaches, uh, upper limit. So, uh, in all cases, uh, infrared, uh, upper limit of infrared radiation uh, exist. And, uh, this determines the uh, uh, emergence uh, condition of the runaway greenhouse state. So, uh, uh, we mo uh, I moved to land plant experiment. Uh, the setup of land plant experiment is basically the same as aqua planet, except for uh, surface condition. A bucket model is applied to all surfaces. And as for land, land planet, uh, Abe uh, et al. Uh, performed a GCM experiment, and they got a, a complete uh, evaporation of surface water at increased uh, net insulation. And uh, our original plan uh, is uh, to reconsider this figure with uh, changing uh, planetary rotation rate, but it failed uh, because uh, we obtained different result from uh, this uh, other result. Uh, the uh, complete evaporation of surface water does not occur. And this is a similar uh, figure uh, to that of Abe. And at this insulation flux, uh, complete evaporation uh, occurred uh, in Abe's uh, experiment. But uh, surface water uh, keeps to increase and uh, complete uh, evaporation does not occur. So, uh, this, uh, result suggests that the, uh, land planet can be, uh, reach equi uh, land planet can reach equilibrium at, uh, increased, uh, increased insulation. So, uh, it may be, uh, uh, it may be that the land planet has two states, runaway greenhouse state and equilibrium state at, uh, increased, uh, net flux. So uh, this is summary. Uh, thank you very much for attention. Okay, we have time for one or two quick questions. For the land planet experiments, do you get by stability? Like if you run it with all the water evap, if you start it out with all the water evaporated, does it actually end up condensing back out on the surface or not? Uh, uh, you talk about the uh, uh, stability of a land current. Uh, no? Can you get two different states? Uh, no. The uh, of solar actually, we, we, don't uh, we don't have get two states. But Abe uh, uh, gets runaway state, and we got uh, the equilibrium state. So uh, I think uh, two states exist. There are one possibility. Uh, for the, the difference is a difference of initial condition. And uh, we use the uh, same initial condition, but Abe et al. Uh, use uh, initial condition the other experiment and with uh, increasing solar constant slightly. So uh, uh, we are now uh, examining the possibility. Okay, 